right, in this video, this is Systems of Equations video number seven, and this will probably be the last elimination method problem that we look at before we dive into uh, some graphing techniques and word problems in future videos. If you have not had a chance, I encourage you to watch video number five and six where we talk about the elimination method there as well. As a matter of fact, it's the same example in five and six. We are doing a completely different example in video number seven, but I want to stress to you, there are multiple ways of getting the same answer. And this is a prime example of it here in video number seven. So we want to eliminate some stuff. We want to solve for X and Y. And some of you may be thinking, okay, we can do 24 maybe. You know, six will go on to 24 and four will go on to 24. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. However, that's gonna make your numbers get bigger and maybe if we can avoid big numbers, we can do more mental math in our head to speed up the problem. You may be thinking, well, we can make the five and the seven a 35 so that we can eliminate those. But again, that's gonna cause some bigger numbers to pop up, and I prefer to use mental math whenever possible. So when I see this six and this four, if you find the least common multiple, which is 12, check this technique out here. Six and four both go into 12. I tell you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna multiply everything in the top equation by two, both sides now. And this piece over here will give us 12x plus 10y. I am distributing that two to both terms, and this is equal to 30. So, you know, that's a little bit of mental math, not really big numbers here. Now in this second equation, I wanna multiply by negative three, and you may wonder why. Again, I encourage you to go back and watch video five and six, but look at what's gonna happen here. Why did I pick a negative three? Negative three times four X is negative 12 X. Boom, these are going to get eliminated right here in a moment. Then if we take negative three times seven Y, that's minus 21 Y, and this is going to be equal to a negative 90, 30 times a negative three. Now I didn't even mention this at the beginning of the video, but did somebody say fractions? Here's what's about to happen. When we eliminate our X's here, we have 10y minus 21y, and if we work this out combining like terms, we get negative 11y. This is equal to 30 minus 90, that's negative 60. Let's get y by itself by dividing both sides by negative 11, and our final answer for y, totally simplified, is 60 over 11. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So there's one of our answers, and notice now we do have some fractions popping up. So now let's take this 60 over 11. Let's brush up on our pencil and paper skills of working with fractions, and let's find x. We've got to find x. I'm going to pick this second equation here. You could have picked the first, but I like these numbers better. Maybe, maybe not, whatever. Uh, 4x plus 7, and then I'm going to plug in this 60 over 11 into that y. So that's times 60 over 11, and this is equal to 30. And now we need to solve for x. Bringing down our 4x plus seven times 60 over 11. Well, seven times six is 42, seven times 60 is 420, and this is over 11, this is equal to 30. If you've watched other videos I've done on solving basic equations, if we have fractions in those equations, we can multiply both sides by a common denominator to get rid of the fraction. And since the only denominator we have is 11, let's multiply both sides by 11. This is gonna help us get rid of that fraction, that 11 down there. Totally optional here, but this is how I prefer to solve them. 11 times 4x, 44x. And instead of you wasting time and taking 11 times 420, then turning right back around and dividing by 11, the whole point of us multiplying by a common denominator, this 11 is going to go away. 11 times 420 divided by 11 is still going to be 420. So we have plus 420. And this is equal to, now 30 times 11, well, 3 times 11 is 33, so 30 times 11 is going to be 330. Now we do have some big numbers here, but it's not gonna work out too bad since they're all even and we're gonna probably be able to simplify these pretty nicely. So 420 minus 420, we're trying to get X by itself and then we're gonna subtract 420 over here. 
Therefore, we have 44x is equal to 330 minus 420. That's going to be a negative number because we're taking away more than what we had. This is going to be negative 90. And then almost done here, let's divide both sides by 44. So we have x is equal to... Now since both of these numbers are even, we can divide them by 2 at least. So 90 divided by 2 is 45. Don't forget your negative. And 44 divided by 2 is 22. And this fraction right here is as simplified as it's going to be. Therefore, our solution here, did somebody say fractions? Check this out. We have a fraction for x and a fraction for y. And now we could check this by plugging everything back in. And since we are approaching the end of our series where we're doing the basic techniques of substitution and elimination, in future videos we will be incorporating some calculator techniques here. And I'm just going to use the calculator here to check and make sure that these two values satisfy both equations. And here I've typed in that first equation up here, 6 times x, so that's 6 times that x value that we got a moment ago, plus 5y, so plus 5 times the y value, and notice we do get 15. Fantastic. And then lastly, I've taken this second equation, 4x plus 7y, and check out what we get. We get 30. Now, checking your work pencil and paper here would add another 5 or 10 minutes to this video, I'm sure. So I just wanted to bring up the calculator, let you know that some of those videos are coming up in the future. Depending on when you're watching this, they may already be available. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.